Working for Jackson Public Schools is special because it provides me with an opportunity to work with a cohort of teachers who are hardworking, who are passionate about educating the whole child. Uh, we look at academics, we look at social behaviors, we look at uh, every facet of the child and, it's, and his or her development to ensure that we're providing the best education possible. So that is one of the best things about working in Jackson Public Schools. And we have a great group of kids. We have a great group of students. They bring to us what they have. If they're broken, we help to mend. If they are uh, flourishing, we help them to develop more. So it's a wonderful opportunity. All right, what about those things we call rhetorical devices? We have the best administrative team, very supportive. Whatever we need, I've, I've learned so much under the current administration about data, about how to use data to drive instruction, about how to ensure that the instruction that's being provided meets the specific needs of the child, and how to differentiate that instruction in the classroom so that we are ensuring that we get the results that we want in the end. So this administrative administration is very supportive in ensuring that we get what we need to provide for the children. Good Taylor, now we're on number two. The first word is could with a capital C. You have to do everything for them at the beginning of the year but by this point in the year um, they're so independent which is so cool like they are writing sentences, they're reading books, they're getting along with each other and there, it's amazing to see the growth that they have just from August to the end of the year. So that's why I love it. Here, fix it. Because this is the perfect time to practice these sentences. So when you go to the writing center, you already know what sentences to write and how you want to write them. The cool thing about working in JPS is the people who are in our district really do care about the kids because they wouldn't be working in a district like this if it wasn't for the kids because obviously that's what motivates us to stay I think and that's what makes it so special because even with its challenges we know at the end of the day sometimes we're all they the students might have they might not have you know like especially in our school they might not have a stable environment or they might have a lot going on at home but we know we're gonna be there for them every single day there's really no way you can prepare someone for that first day on the job um, you know, I think the key is to not try to be a perfectionist and not to become overwhelmed be, because you can become overwhelmed if you try to do everything perfectly. Like that's what I tried to do my first year is to be perfect and to be the come early, stay late, do everything on time right away. Like it has to be perfect because the reality is you're not going to be able to do that. You know, we're all human. We all make mistakes. So just to give yourself the wiggle room, you know, have fun, like don't be afraid to laugh with your students and it's not always going to be serious like down to business. So just finding that balance of doing a good job but, but you're not overwhelming yourself and getting run down in the process of doing that. The first thing we were supposed to do is Big B, right? So Big B means go to the bottom of your triangle and do the area of it. We do have a nurturing family environment here. Like everyone that's on this staff, we genuinely care about each other. See a few people writing, put your pencil down when you're done. Besides the family atmosphere, just giving people chances. You're not gonna always have the best day. Everybody's not gonna be on their best behavior every day. However, think about all the chances that you received in life. So each day is a new day, every period a new period. I never bring any baggage from home to my students. So when they come up here, they knew they're gonna see the same Mr. Fisher every day. And that's the cool part because it keep, keep, it keep us grounded and we're able to be more successful and that's what's leading to us getting these great results that we get. Mr. Robinson said his answer is 1,728. Mr. Robinson, can you explain something to me? Why did you multiply 12 times 12 times 12? As far as a new teacher, don't come in trying to be authoritative. Like that's the biggest thing. Like, of course, classroom management normally make or break a teacher. And it's not hard to obtain classroom management. You literally have to come in with your, you got to sit down and put self aside because it's about the kids. So you actually, as fly as I think I am and as handsome as may, people may think I am or whatever you want to say, I had to sit down for a full year or two years and actually learn this craft. I had to plan. I had to sit down and not go out sometime, not enjoy certain things sometime. I had to sit down and learn my craft. So once you learn your craft and you get comfortable in your craft, you're able to do the things that you need to do. So when you come in with a plan, classroom is structured, you don't have to keep saying, be quiet, stop doing this, stop doing that, because everybody know how your class is laid out and they know your plan. My rules are, we know common sense. We know right from wrong, 
and we treat each other right. The next one is interesting. Why do you think the moose mistook the dogs for wolves? I grew up in Madison. Um, my family always worked in Jackson. Uh, I have just wanted to stay in the area. I think that Jackson has a lot to offer and it has to be pulled out by people staying and giving back. Um, and so I live in Jackson now. Um, I just bought a house actually, so I'm excited to stay in Jackson. Um, and I just think that it's important to pour into Jackson's future. Is fatigue a problem during the race's final days? I wouldn't have made it through my first year without my seventh grade team of teachers. Um, they're incredible. Uh, we have a good team leader. Um, we're able to, to be honest and, and talk about the bad stuff that happens during the day, but to work through that and come up with solutions. Um, I've never had a problem in my room that I had to deal with by myself. And I think that's really important. Um, and that doesn't happen everywhere. That's, that's all based on teachers and um, just kind of connecting together and, and making a team out of it. And that's what we really are, is a team. Everybody needs to have their books. I don't think I've ever had a problem also that I couldn't take to my principal, Ms. Holling said, and get a good response and get something done about it. Um, if we come up with something as a team and we propose that to her, she really puts a lot of trust in the teachers to know uh, what's needed. Um, and then they back that up. They, they really are well, uh, willing to go above and beyond to make sure that we get what we need. So that's fluctuate and it says here the temperature fluctuates between what, Eleanor? They have just totally stolen my heart this year. Um, I, I have the best group of kids. I, I've had a wonderful year. Um, they, they have opened me up to, um, I share a lot more personal stuff with them and I get that in return and I think that we've built like a trust relationship. Um, I haven't always seen that in the past and that's something that I definitely want to do moving forward. Um, I think that's changed my idea of teaching and how I want to be a teacher is just really opening up and building that trust relationship and being able to have fun with them when, when they need a break to have fun. The old test talked about connotation, denotation. What is, what is word choice? Why is word choice important? I want the, the educational community to know that we have the most important job in the world. We are responsible for the success of individuals from pre-K all the way to college because I have college students that are in dual credit, dual enrollment. So we have that responsibility that we cannot take lightly. We have to be passionate about it and we have to ensure that every day we give the best children and what we might consider the worst children the best that we have because Jackson Public Schools is a good district. Jackson Public Schools teachers are the best teachers. Jackson Public Schools students are the best students and we are building stronger schools together.